All right, welcome back to the Bonferroni channel. And today I wanna to talk about a hack I'm gonna try, get it, a hack, um, to use a Lansky knife sharpener kit for sharpening hatchets. So I've seen some of the other brands, Edge Pro, I've seen people using that product to do hatchets. Um, I've seen some of the others have a hatchet version of their product, um, but I really haven't seen anyone use this for a hatchet. So, um, Here's two blade profiles. Here's a thin knife, and the Lansky would clamp onto that um, with these uh, screws. And you would set your the angle, which um, the angle they give you is ranging from 30 degrees to 17 degrees, and that angle is actually combined from both sides, so that would be the total angle. But you're essentially doing that by picking a hole on these vertical supports. And this whole concept is that you're, um, you're controlling this angle by controlling the height of this triangle. So you actually have a triangle and you can control this based on the length of this leg and this leg of the triangle. So once you clamp it on, this leg of the triangle is set, this one is adjusted. Um, there's no reason you couldn't um, alter the lengths um, like this length and leave this one uh, the same. So with a hatchet, the blade is thicker. So you can see my blade profile here. Um, the hatchet blade is, is going to be somewhat thicker. Um, and it's um, going to be a pretty narrow angle going out towards the edge, but then at the edge it's going to be about a 30 degree angle. And um, these depend on um, the manufacturer. They also depend on how you plan to use it, whether you want to do hardwoods where it's going to be a, a broader angle um, or um, like pine where it's going to be a sharper angle. So I'm going to set the angle with this on the hatchet blade, but since it won't, let me illustrate this for you. Obviously I can't clamp it on there with the, um, with the screws, I'll just use an external clamp. And so I will find an angle that is appropriate. Okay, so as it turns out, there's not really enough room for the clamp um, without getting in the way of the guide rod. So I drew some um, parallel lines here. I'm using a reference point of the handle, and I'm just holding and doing one side at a time. So, uh, update. I discovered that the, the original grind on this is not um, symmetrical on either side. So um, the location that worked on one side with that particular hole did not work on the other. So one side I was um, lining it up here and using the bottom hole. And I'd actually kind of slightly cant it a little bit that way I'd get, that way it wouldn't bind when it got the full range of the uh, blade. And then on the other side, I found that in order to get up to the edge, but not um, go overly steep. I was actually lining this crease up with this crease in the handle right there. So I get to about there. Again, give it a little angle, slight angle, so it kind of lines up with the blade. And in this case, I was using the second to um, second to bottom hole because this side was actually steeper from the factory. So I went through the black. Um, red and green, and then on the green, so I'll do uh, pushing and pulling strokes, and then I'll feel for the burr on the bottom before I switch to the other side. Um, again, I was watching to make sure I was going all the way to the edge. Um, now you don't want to just dig the edge and um, go at a really extreme grinding angle across it, but you just want to just barely catch the edge, so you're taking material off over here and not back here. Um, so I went back and forth all three grits, and then on the final grit, I only went forward and did some light kind of angular passes um, just to knock off the burr, and smooth it out, and then just flip to the other side, do the same thing. And now it's it's very sharp. Um, I'm going to go over some leather with it, just strop it just to knock off any leftover burr, and um, that's about it. Now is that necessary? Well, not really. Um, I would normally sharpen with the Arkansas stone where you get it wet and you just kind of go by feel and find that edge and kind of touch it up and sharpen it up on both sides. 
Um, this is definitely more precise, but given that the axe was originally ground uneven to begin with, um, probably not worth all the extra effort, but if this is what you got, you can absolutely use it to set that angle. So thanks for watching the Bonfroni channel. Catch you next time.